Dr. Gregory Horton here, three-time Olympic medalist, world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. I know I've been absent for a little bit, but I am back. We are now in the early season. Outdoor season is about to begin. But today I am going to talk about Brianna Lister. And I must say that I am pretty impressed with the way how she has been developing for the past year and a half. You know, I've said that for me, going to college is one of the most important thing a young athlete can do. And I say that because most of the time we find that the young athletes are eager to earn the contracts. But in order to maximize a contract, you must have the fundamentals in place. And I can tell you now for the, for the two years that Brianna Liston has attended college, you can see her level of maturity has increased. You could see that her knowledge about the event has also increased. And I can tell you that this is a champion in the making. Now it is normal for athletes to struggle their first year in anything. And I can tell you looking at Brianna Liston that she has paid the price and she is developing like a champion. Now last year we saw her run um, the 200 meters and her best time the entire season was 22.75. But we all know that she is much better than that. But injuries sometimes can cause setback. And as she said in her previous interview, that she was very frustrated with the fact that she was not able to train the way she should or could. And as a result, it was very depressing. She also said that her mental health is in a much better place because she's now able to run the way she wants to run. Now, I just want to take the time to congratulate her. She has won the NCAA 60 meter in a fantastic time of 7.03. And I could tell that this was in the making because when you look at her overall performances, especially in the 60 meters, you could tell that she was here to stay. She won the Razorback Championship in 7.07, which was a fantastic time. She actually set the SEC Championship 60 meter record in a time of 7.08. And she also won the LSU Twilight early in the season. And she did it in a pretty decent time of 7.17. But to see the way she won the NCAA 60 meter championship in 703 you want to take your hat off to her and you really want to congratulate her now i know it, it might be too early to make some predictions but i think that the way how brianna liston is developing that she will be a force to be reckoned with come the 2024 jamaica olympic championship now i can say that when you compare her with the other athletes in her age group whether you're going to look at tia and tina clayton at this point in their development you must give brianna list on the edge she is competing like a champion i listened to her interviews or recent interviews and i must say that i'm pretty impressed with the way she conducted and carried herself in that interview she was calm she was collective she was very intelligent and she was able to articulate clearly the things that are going on in her life. She was able to talk about her mental health, her mental strength and mental development. And she was able to say how confident she is in terms of what the future holds for her. I must say that I am so happy for her, mainly because of the way how she has developed. And I've always said it, and I will say it again, that it is always in the athlete's best interest to go to college. Some of the benefits of going to college is that it helps the athlete to be fully mature if the program that they are undertaking is in their best interest. And as I look at Brianna Liston, I am happy with the way how she's developing. I am happy to see the way how she's executing her race and you can tell that her confidence is at the highest level. What do we expect? I will make an early prediction. I will say that if Brianna Liston stays healthy, 
and if her mental development continue to progress in this manner that you will have two upsets at the jamaica championship i expect her to finish in the top three in both events and i expect that if she continue to mature the way she is maturing now that she can be a medal contender in paris i wish her all the best i hope that she continues to stay on the path that she is right now and i know that the future is bright for her so if you agree with some of the things that i just share in this video please don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comment section i thank you all for tuning in i am dr gregory Houghton. have a blessed day Thank you.